Hey guys, so I'm gonna try and show you uh, a little wiring tip here because this is a question I get all the time and guys will hook up all their lights and they get to the lot and everything's working and they hook up their last light and all of a sudden it's not working. Uh, and it's typically because that last fixture on the line seems to tend, tends to give people some confusion. I can't even say it. So, uh, so we're getting poured on here, but I'm gonna show you uh, the last fixture on the line here and how we're gonna go and wire that. And if you want a better uh, definition and diagram, go to YouTube, search Lighting Doctor Wiring Diagram, and I give you a really, really thorough example of this. But So I've got my last fixture right here, and I've got my, my two wires that come off of that fixture, right? And then I've got my 12-2 wire that is coming to the last fixture. So I don't have another wire going to another one. This is it. This is the end. So what most people do is they just end up using one connector and putting all the wires in and then it shorts everything. So, but that's that's not how you do it. Even on this last fixture, you still need two of your connectors. So what you're gonna do, again, you're gonna have your 12-2 wire and you're gonna split that. And you're gonna take one of those wires and you're gonna throw it in the big port on your BBS2 connectors. And then you're gonna take one wire from your actual fixture and you're gonna put it in one of the small ports on that same connector. So you're gonna have, on the last fixture, you're gonna have one extra hole for wire. You don't need to use that, you've only got two wires coming in. And then you need to do that one more time because you still have another wire to your, from your fixture and you still have another wire, another 12-2 wire coming in. So same thing. You're gonna throw that 12-2 wire in the big port and you are gonna throw that small wire in the smaller port from your fixture and then still at that last light you still have the two connections the only difference with this and one in line is one in line that extra hole is going to have the 12 2 wire that goes out to your next light on both of these right because this is our last fixture you have that hole empty so um, I like using these BBS2 snap lock connectors I also like using these um, these DBRY connectors, which I talked a lot about, which same idea, except the only difference is the wires just screw into this morette, and this morette slides into this waterproofing tube. So it doesn't matter what you use, the big two things to keep in mind is one, some type of waterproofing. It's gotta be gel filled of some sort. Those connectors that you buy at Home Depot, places like that, that pierce the wire, um, stay away from those. If they have the those connectors built right onto the fixture and you still want to use that fixture, cut them off and use a proper one that's uh, got some kind of sealant in it to make that a waterproof connection or I promise you, you'll be digging up that connection. And the other thing is something that has a mechanical connection. So what that means is something that will hold the wires from being pulled apart. These ones I like because they snap tight and once the wires are in there, they don't come out. Same with these. Once you got the wires in there and these big gel filled tubes and you snap this shut, you're not pulling the wires out of that. So some people will just use those gel filled morettes, which is fine, they have that waterproofing, but then you gotta wrap them with tape or zip tie the wires together, do something so you can't pull those wires together. Or again, I promise you, you're gonna be digging up down the road. So there's all kinds of other wire connectors that are out there, but they need those two components, waterproofing and that mechanical connection to keep those wires from coming apart. So hope that helps and we'll move on to the next step uh, after this.